Dyson is a company known for its bold designs and unique reinvention of common household products. They include the world's first bagless vacuum cleaner, high velocity hair, hand dryers, bladeless fans, air purifiers, and the supersonic hair dryer. Dyson is also branching into retail. CBS This Morning got the first look at the company's flagship demo store in New York City, which opens tomorrow. Sir James Dyson is the founder and chief engineer at Dyson. Welcome back to Studio 57. Mm -hmm. So while retail is having issues in all kinds of different ways, why open mm -hmm. a store? Well, it is a bit counterculture, but you know, we like people to get their hands on things. I mean, we're putting more and more technology into products which need explaining, and people need to be able to tell the difference. I mean, for example, our, our battery-powered vacuum cleaners, you wouldn't believe they're as powerful as mains machines, but they are. But people need to see that. You know, we're trying to break conventions. You think battery machines are useless and the batteries fade. Ours don't. So we want people to be able to see that and, and realize that there's a very new way of vacuuming. You don't have to have the cord and the heavy vacuum cleaner. What's at the heart of your technology, especially in the vacuum cleaners, which I like? <laughs> <laughs> Good. I like I'm not having to change the um, bag. Well, yeah. many years ago, we started developing a new type of electric motor, new technology electric motors. So we made them much smaller, much faster, and much more efficient. And that's really the heart of it all. We've also developed batteries, but that's another story. But the motor that's in our hairdryer, for example, is about a quarter of the size of a normal hairdryer motor and a quarter of the weight. So we put it in the handle, and that's why it's so light. So I'm trying to get you to buy one because I think you'll <laughs> discover that, that it's very, very good. So if, if you get the basic technology right and you, you create breakthroughs, then you can design a really interesting product around it. But the technology is the most important thing. Yeah. Mm. And so now you've done the vacuum cleaner, you do the fans, you're opening up a store, and then there's a rumor you're getting into the car business. What qualifies you, Sir James, to get in the car business? Well, I hate diesel exhaust pollution. And about 20 years ago, I developed something that collected diesel exhaust pollution. But um, governments are going around saying, hey, green is clean and it's green, uh, so it's a good thing. And the people who use diesel engines didn't want to fit it because there was the problem of disposing of the dust. So I've had this burning desire to have a form of transport other than an IC engine, other than something that belches out nasty stuff, because mm -hmm. even petrol engines send out nasty stuff. And now you're um, doing an engineering school, too, yes, to well, create I, more people like you. How did well, that come about? Well, th there's a tremendous shortage of engineers, uh -huh. and we need more and more to develop software, artificial intelligence, and all this kind of thing. So you need about five times the number of engineers now that you needed before. And I went to see the Minister of Education, Boris's brother, in fact. Um, Boris Johnson. Uh, Boris Johnson's London, brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, to complain there weren't enough in engineers. And he said, well, start your own university. <laughs> and it, it took me about three seconds to say yes. Um, and he's created a new act to allow people like me to start universities. So it'll be within the company. They'll work in the company. They'll work on new inventions. They'll uh, take products into production. And they'll have two days a week doing academic studies. Wow. So there are no student holidays. It's a full year. Hmm. It'll take them four years. I pay for their education. You I pay, pay for their education? Yes, I pay them. Oh, I pay okay. them a salary. And at the end, they've got a job, and at the end of it, they've got a job. If they want to leave, they can leave. What, so there's, there's no tie. What, and by the way, they're wonderful. I mean, they, they're quite shocked, all our existing engineers, with their questioning and their uh -huh. challenges. Two of them are 17. And it, it's, wow. it's a great sort of influx of energy. What's at the heart of the innovations and creativity? Is it just looking at everything and asking questions about it? I mean, uh, Well, actually, it's not very hard. A lot of things don't work very well, or they're awkward, <laughs> or there's something you don't like about it. And so we set about getting rid of that. And you know, other people aren't bothering to do that. So there's tremendous scope for someone like but me. But your brain or... does work differently, don't you think? You, what do you think? You take things apart and try to put them back together, or you're looking, how can I make it better? There is a process to yeah. how you work, is there not? Well, yes, and I, I want, yes, there is, and I, and I learned that. But uh, yes, you look at something and you see it isn't working. Why isn't it working? What's it doing wrong? What's it missing? Uh -huh. And then you, you set about improving it. Or it can happen another way, that you develop a technology and then you work out where you can use it, where it'll make a real difference. And that's actually how we got into hair dryers. Apart from the fact that the hair dryers actually are not very good and damage your hair and they're very heavy and balance is awful and all that. He's really thing. trying to sell hair dryers. Exactly. He'll be appearing at the brick and mortar store, yes. <laughs> You're doing blowouts at the store, I heard, is it? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. You want to show people how, you know, why it's better and how Do it's not good. Confuse and it with the vacuum. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, no. Well, James Dyson, what a pleasure always to have you here mm -hmm. and learn about all your innovations. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yes, Thank, you. You. Thank you.